Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on probability. In this video, we'll be looking at dependent events. Dependent events are events in which the occurrence of one affect the occurrence of the other. So we take our problem. From a pack of 52 cards, two cards are drawn at random, one after the other without replacement. What is the probability of drawing A, a diamond and a heart, B, a king and a queen? So we start the solution here. The probability of a diamond and a heart, we look at the possibilities. Be informed that the order in which they will be taken is important in this situation. It is either you have the diamond coming first, followed by the heart, as the second or you pick the heart first followed by the diamond as the second so these are the possibilities we then find the probability of picking the diamond first and heart second find the probability of picking the heart first and the diamond second then we sum up their respective probabilities so the probability of picking diamond first followed by Heart is going to be probability of picking diamond multiplied by the probability of picking heart. For the probability of picking diamond, we need to know the number of cards that are diamond. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we have it as 13. So it's going to be 13 over the total number of cards we have here, which is 52. We have it as 13 over 52, which is the probability of picking the first card to be diamond. Then multiply by, please be informed that one of the cards is picked already. So let's assume we have A gone. We are left with 12 diamonds and the other cards are intact. Now the probability of picking the second card as heart, since there are 13 cards that are heart, so we are going to have it as 13 over the total number of cards that are remaining. So this has been selected. So we are now left with 51 cards. That's going to be over 51, which is the probability of picking the second card as hearts. Since one card is gone, so the total number of cards left is 51. So we simplify to give us 13 over 204. Now we are done with that. We then go ahead to calculate the probability of picking the first one heart and the second one diamond. So that's going to give us probability of picking heart times probability of picking diamond. So the probability of picking heart, remember the first possibility has no effect on this for now it is only the first peak and the second peak that have effect on each other so the probability of picking the first one heart since there are 13 hearts there out of 52 we are going to have it as 13 over 52 times the probability of picking the second one diamond Remember, one heart is picked, so we just pick any one, assuming it is the king, or it could be two, three, or any of the other cards that are hearts. Just to show that we are left with 12 cards with hearts. So the probability of picking the second one diamond, we still have 13 cards that are diamond. That's going to give us 13 over 51. Since one card is gone and the total number of cards we are having is 51, this is then simplified as 13 over 204. We then go ahead to find the probability of picking a diamond and a heart. We told you it is going to be the sum of the probability of the two possibilities, which is the probability of picking the first one diamond and the second one heart plus the probability of picking the first one heart and the second one diamond and that gives 13 over 204 
plus 13 over 204. So since the denominators are equal, we just add the numerators to give us 26 over 204. And in the simplest form, we have it as 13 over 102, which is the probability of picking a diamond and a heart. We then go to B part of the problem. For B, the probability of a king and a queen. So the probability of a queen and a king, we also have some possibilities there. Either you pick the first one, king, and the second one, queen, or we pick the first one, queen, and the second one, king. So we then look at the probability of picking the first one, king, and the second one, queen. That's going to be probability of drawing king times probability of drawing queen. So we go ahead to calculate the probability of picking the first one, king. The probability of picking king is going to be 4 over 52. Since there are 1, 2, 3, 4 cards with king, so we have it 4 over 52. One of the cards with king is gone. So remember the total number of cards down is 51, having gone with a card. Then the probability of picking queen from the remaining cards is going to be 4 over 51. 1, 2, 3, 4 cards with queen out of the remaining 51. So this will give us 4 over 663. Then we go ahead to calculate the probability of this first one being queen and the second one king. So that the probability will be the probability of drawing a queen times the probability of drawing a king. So the same way we said the number of cards with queen is 4 over 52 times a card with queen is gone and we are left with three of the cards with queen and a total number of 51 cards so the probability of picking the second one king now is going to be 4 over 51 simplifying this we have 4 over 663 so that the probability of drawing a king and a queen will be the probability of picking the first one king and the second one queen plus the probability of picking the first one queen and the second one king so substituting this now we have 4 over 663 plus this which is 4 over 663 summing them up since the denominators are equal we just sum up the numerator which gives 8 over 663 and this cannot be simplified further and that's the end of this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching until we come your way again goodbye